Okay, so, as we all know, explorers have came from different countries for different reasons. From Europe, actually. They have came from Europe, and they have come from different reasons. Number one, they want to get to India. Number two, they try to find a faster route to India. Most of them included gold or riches or India spices, stuff like that. As we, as most of you would know, Columbus made his famous sail in 1492 to the New World under the under the flag uh, under the Spanish flag, and he discovered the New World. And today, we are going to be talking about another explorer that was a Spanish explorer, and was also at the New World. So, Camis, here we start. His name is Camisa de Vaca. And that's a picture of it, like a drawing. It's not exactly a picture because they did not have cameras in the 1500s. So it's like a painting. Okay, anyway, let's start. So, his personal background. He was born in a noble family in Spain around 1490. Rec we don't have complete records of his record of his date, birthday. Anyway, he noble, which most of you should know, is rich, meaning rich. So he was a rich kid, and he died in Sevilla, Spain, 1557 to 1560, poorly because he was arrested on his second voyage, because he was accused of letting a town in pure, in now what is called modern day Peru, Peru, he once governed and that he governed and that he left fail after he left, so he was blamed for it. Oops. So this is like the riches he would have. And then this is. Yeah. So. Wait, oops. So that's like being poor. So. I found a modern day picture. I could have sadly found it. So. What country sent him on his travels? As you can see here, we have a sneak peek. The Spanish flag is the one that De Vaca sailed under, and his origins are also from Spain, as you looked from the previous slide. So, he went to the Spanish king and queen, or either one, and he asked for his voyage. And the Spanish king or queen decided to pay for a ship and the voyage, so all the land that he claimed would be for Spain. And also all the money he hired. What exactly was he looking for? He was looking for gold and silver mines. Like, so he was looking for riches, basically. He was also part of a famous Spanish expedition called the Navarrete Expedition, which they were supposed to claim Florida, and it turned out to be a complete disaster, and Camisa de Vaca was like, I think the only four people left in it by the time they get to Mexico City. So this is a gold mine. That's a silver mine. That's what he was looking for. Route. What route did he take? During Navra He. During the expedition of Navrazes. He went from Florida City. Florida to Mexico. So the way. City. The way he did it. He landed like around Miami, I think, like on but on the west coast, of Florida. So he came. He he was from. He took from uh some coastal city on Spain. The whole expedition. It stops in Dominican Republic, then Cuba, and then they land on Florida. They start going up. And then the natives are attacking them, so they take a boat to the, on the Gulf, and they end up somewhere near Galvin, the Galvin River in Texas. And that and during the boat ride, many of them drown, like Navarrez himself, the leader, has, drowns on the boat ride because his boat, I think, gets destroyed. They make like little wooden boats, but still. Anyway, so they they go down, then Cabisa that. From there, I think there was like about 14 men left. It could be said the Vaca was one. They would go. They were trying to get into Mexico City for safety to go back to Spain. And then 
when they happened, there, by the time they, and then they went down to Mexico City, by the time they got to there, there was only four people left. So then from Mexico City, they were safely taken to the shore and back to Spain. This, as you can see, is kind of how I explained it. So I said he went to the Dominican Republic, as I said. Then they went to Cuba, and then they went somewhere on the west coast of Florida, so apparently it's Tampa Bay. Then I said they took boats and went to the Galvin River, so it was actually the Galvin side. Then they went to the Rio Grande, they keep on crossing the border until they went on the Pacific coast nearby to Mexico City, then Veracruz, and then they'd go back home safely. This is the route, yes, as we can see. This is the route the Vodka had taken during the Navarre's expedition. So what exactly did he claim? Like what he found for Europeans? Because he didn't exactly find it. Like like the natives were there. So it's not like it was lost. Or that he found it. So like he. Like he discovered it was there. For like the Europeans. So like he. And he claimed it. Like, But it was not lost or anything. It was there. But they, the people of Europe never knew. There was a landmass there. So anyway, as you can see, the basic I had read is climbed a lot, claimed a lot of land. So he claimed the Sabian River, which I don't know where it is. I think it's in Texas, all the way to the Gulf of California. He was a, he and his men were the first European to see bison, and that's on his first voyage. On his second voyage, he took a route from. Colony from a colony that took parts of Argentina, Paraguay, and Uruguay to a colony of Peru. This is also the first journey. The second journey is actually after the Narvaez expedition. The first one is the expedition. Expedition. He also claimed the Pecos River, Texas, and the Tampa Bay. As you can see, he was the first to see the bison. Was he successful? It depends what you're looking at, like, I guess you could say half and half, because what he was looking for, like, let's see, let's go back to what he was looking for. He was looking for gold and silver mines. So, so the thing is that. He was looking for gold and silver, but he did not find the gold and silver he's looking for, so that's... He did not claim Florida either, but he did claim land for Spain, like the Savian River, the Picos River, Texas, and the Tampa Bay. So I guess you could say he was half and half. As you can see here, I ha what I have here is like he was looking at the gold mine, but there's an X on it because he didn't get it. Looking for like what I did, so like that's what he wanted to find, but then there's an X there because that's what he because he didn't find it exactly. What was the contact between the the, the vaca cabeza de vaca and the natives meeting? Like, what was the relationship with them? Like, relation with natives, as you can see here. As you can see here, as a part of the Navarre's expedition, the natives are really just trying to kill them. <clears throat> the natives not give no mercy like they usually do. Like the the natives are usually nice and then mean, but then there are some native tribes that are really bad. Like this, they love war and stuff like that. So, so then they escape to the Gulf of Mexico. Navarre's drowned. The Vaca landed in Galveston, in Texas, which was, and he was chased in land by a tribe of men. Walking some amount of miles, there was 12 men left, so I was close enough. I had 14, okay? Don't judge me. I hadn't studied, okay? And they were starving. They found a tribe of Native Americans. Natives on top of that who help actually helped the men recover. They stayed there for two years and then the natives were forcing the, the explorers to work. So they they taught the vaca how to be a healer and then they fled. They made it to a Mexico City to go home with four men surviving, including the vaca, with good and bad native contact along the way. This is showing that the native is actually 
eighty gabo at a European explorer. Then this is showing like Native American like helping a European explorer. The time frames. So Kabisa de Vaca spent eight years exploring on the Narvaez expedition. He also spent five years on his journey to South America. So the South America one is the South America one is the one where he goes to Peru and stuff like that. So it was eight years for the Navarez. It was five years for South America. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time. Please, oh wait, and by the way, please like this video and comment your ideas, and I will try to do my best to do them. Just comment and see how many likes we can get on them, and I'll try doing it. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.